Hello everyone, welcome to Study IQ English. India's second interplanetary mission to the Mars, the Mangalyaan 2, is scheduled around 2026-2027. Would you want to go to Mars? Sounds like a very absurd question. We know that we are living in the times of private space travels, but still, going to Mars looks like a very remote possibility talking from today. But now, you can actually go to a place in Gujarat that will give you a feeling as if you are already in Mars. Yes, there is a village in Gujarat which is a copy. It is a small microcosm which is exactly like the Martian atmosphere. So which is this place and why is it in news? Now, we all know that India's fascination with discovering resources, clues to extraterrestrial life in Mars is on. We have the Mangalyaan 1. We are all gearing up for Mangalyaan 2. And in this process, very interesting development has happened in a village that's named as the Mata Nomad village in Gujarat. It is situated in the Kutch area, in the Kutch district. Now, this village has the kind of features which exactly copy or mimic the situations in Mars. And today, in India, we have discovered an iron-rich sulphate mineral which is known as jarosite. Yes, it is known as jarosite. And there is a picture here on the front screen, on the front slide. You can see that it is very brownish, yellow, golden in color. Very luminous mineral. This is a severely iron-rich mineral, sulphate-rich mineral called as jarosite. Yes, we have found jarosite. It is quite a rare mineral and this is dating back 55 million years ago, which means there could be a deep possible link between Earth's geological past with that of conditions present in Mars. This finding opens a big opportunity for planetary science and future investigations being done by ISRO. Of course, the upcoming mission, the Mangalyaan 2. So what is Jerosite? Why are we celebrating this find so much? As you can see on the screen, jerosite looks exactly like this. It looks like a very precious gemstone sort of material and it is formed through an interaction of iron, sulfur, potassium and water together. It is very rarely found on Earth and usually it is linked to some volcanic activity. The jerosite that has been discovered today in the Mata Nomad area of Kutch district, Gujarat is dated from the Paleocene period. Around 55 million years ago, when volcanic ash possibly must have mixed with water, with marine salty water. And it led to the creation of this mineral called jarosite. Now, this is just similar to the conditions that are probably found on Mars, where jarosite was detected by NASA's Opportunity rover back in 2004, that is 2004. The similarity between both the conditions, the conditions in which jarosite was found in the Mata Nomad area of Gujarat and the conditions in which possibly the jarosite was formed in Mars are quite same. Today we can compare the conditions between the Marshall region, that's the Mars, and the village region in the Kutch district of Gujarat. So Mata Nomad's harsh very little low density population area is actually perfect for copying martian surface conditions as you can see on your screen tomorrow if the astronauts want to explore in detail the martian situation the martian atmosphere and land conditions yes we can have a tour of this mata nomad area in gujarat here the clay has been mixed with jarosite and this clay has the property of expanding when it becomes wet or moist this resembles the behavior of Martian soil, the soil on the Mars. The site, therefore, is a natural laboratory today for us to test the possibility of our future mission's mobility, drilling geochemical instruments before they can actually be sent to Mars. So we can save a lot of funding there. We can use this as a laboratory before we actually send a mission or some apparatus to the Mars surface. Now, please remember this is not the only case in which the Indian government is trying to copy and simulate the condition in Mars. There is one more area situated in Ladakh, which is known as Himalayan Outpost for Planetary Exploration or HOPE. Quite important for GS Paper 3 UPSC. Now the HOPE also is a copy. It's a stimulation of martial atmospheric and temperature conditions, as you can see on the picture here. 
that astronauts often go here to take a feel of how is it to be in the Mars. Recently, two crew members spent 10 days in this area. It is replicating the Martian condition in terms of altitude, feeling, experiencing low oxygen and sub-zero temperatures. Together, these sites, both today the new discovery at the Mata Nomad in Kutch and this existing Hope Observatory, they both together create a perfect practical testing provision to India, to ISRO, to our astronauts for further making new leads in space science. Because now we know. How is human experience at the Martian surface? Now today as we talk about the Mata Nomad, this site but is also prone to climatic destruction due to anthropogenic activities which mean human induced activity. For example, near the Mata Nomad, there is a lot of coal mining going on and coal mining, whether it's pit mining or open coal mining, you know, both are responsible for massive pollution, not just the air but also of the top layer of soil. In that case, water logging is very, very common near this area and that endangers this precious site that we have discovered. So scientists are saying that it has to be protected anyhow. It has to be saved because this is nothing but a unique planetary geosite heritage. Yes, it's a heritage because tomorrow it has immense scientific value. It can give us so many clues about future Mars missions, not just to India, but to other countries of the world as well. So now the question with reference to India's Mars Orbiter mission, the Mangalyaan, consider these statements. One, it was India's first interplanetary mission and was successfully inserted into Martian object in its first attempt. Second, the mission was a technological success, but it did not carry any scientific payload, focusing purely on orbital activities, orbital maneuvers. Three, the mission was launched during the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, the PSLV, at from the Satish Dhawan Space Center. You can choose out the correct statement by picking out the codes below. And I have pasted the valid answer here for your reference too. Now, in case you enjoy these short videos, do like, share and subscribe Study IQ English. If there's any particular topic you want to be picked up, then here's your chance. You can let me know in the comment box and there I shall be with the topic the next day. So, thank you so much.